The question says, in the figure below, determine the point at, other than infinity at which the total electric field is zero. And so, this is a really large charge, and it has a large, uh, elect or a really strong electric field. This has a really small electric field, so it'll, it's only going to cancel out a little bit over here. So it's asking meters to the left of the negative 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6 Coulomb charge. Uh, so what's the, where is the electric field zero? And kind of demonstrate everything to, uh, I could draw the fi some field lines in. Uh, they won't be, they won't be great field lines, but I can draw some in. So they would go something like this. And then the ones on the back would come out and over and the ones on the back would come out and over. And then somewhere like right around here, there's no electric field. And then anywhere beyond that point, the the six microcoulomb charge is actually it's going to have more uh, more field lines than than the the negative charge, and so it would it would uh, certainly come up, and and uh, all of this would would appear to be a positive charge beyond some point. So what we're saying is that there's an electric field one and you subtract out electric field 2 and it's going to equal 0 at some point. There's going to be a place or actually so we would say we the sum of the electric fields equals 0 at some point and so the sum of the electric fields we're going to say that one is a positive field and one's a negative field. So the positive field we're going to call E1, the negative field we'll call E2 and then we're going to so we're going to add E2 to the other side so we'll say that E1 is equal to E2 and we just need to find the distance at which that is true. So we can replace the electric field with the equation, so k times q1 over, and, and so we're talking about e1, this is a distance of 1, and we don't, so the, the distance right here, 1 meter, we don't know beyond that, but we know that 1 plus d, some distance squared. And then at that same, so we're going to call this, let me make this yellow. We're going to call this distance, this unknown distance, d, and this is where the field is zero. And so this is equal to equal to k times q2 over d squared. If we divide both sides by k, k cancels out, and we're left with uh, q1 over 1 plus d squared equals q2 over d squared. Now I'm just going to take the inverse of both sides really quick. So I'll get 1 plus d squared over q1 equals d squared over q2. Then I'm going to multiply q1 over and I'll get 1 plus d squared equals uh, q1 over q2, q2 times d squared. Now next I'm going to expand uh, this out. So I'll, when you expand it out, you get d squared plus 2d plus 1, and that's going to equal q1 over q2 times d squared. Then I'm going to subtract this whole uh, term to the other side. So when you do that, you'll get d squared minus q1 over q2 times d squared plus 2d plus 1 equals 0. Now out of this, I can factor out d squared, and so you get um, you get one minus q one over q two times d squared plus two d plus one equals zero. And I hope this is starting to look like a quadratic equation. So you can see from my quadrat, this is the term attached to my d squared, or we might say x squared. Uh, so this is a b and c so ax squared plus ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 i can put this into the quadratic formula and solve for d or x if you would so a a is equal to 1 minus q1 over q2 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 1 now remember the quadratic formula we uh where x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
divide it by 2 times a. Or I'll make that I'll make all my a's the same. You notice the the plus or minus. So the with the plus or minus here it means that there's two possible answers. Since we want the value to the left of a specific charge, we're going to use the minus, uh, the minus as our answer. But the other answer would be to the right of the of the sixth uh, nanocoulomb charge. Now remember that Q uh, Q1. So Q, uh, let me get this. Q1 is equal to six times ten to the negative ninth coulombs. And Q2, remember, is a negative 2.5, but we accounted for the negative by subtracting our electric field rather than the sum of the electric fields equals zero. We accounted for that negative charge by subtracting, so we're just going to use the magnitude of Q2, 2.5 times 10 to the negative ninth. When you divide those things out, the, the tens to the negative ninths cancel out, and so you get basically 6 over 2.5. And so a, a is equal to 1 minus 6 over 2.5. And that's equal to negative 1.4. And so you have everything you need. Just plug in a, a negative 2 plus the square root. And so 2 squared is 4. And subtract out 4 times, 4 times negative 1.4 times 1. You take the square root the square root of that number and then you subtract it out and then you divide everything by 2 times negative 1.4 so it will turn your negative into a positive and your answer should be that, that uh, x is equal to uh, 1.82085 meters